Hey guys, I'm sharing with you a platform I've been working on for the past few years. So this has been a really big project and it's something that I, well, I'll go through with you now, but it's a, a project that I really wanted to create with my students in mind. I, I, I thought about the way, obviously I've been teaching for a while and I thought about the way people learn and what they should learn first and how they should progress through different phases of their jiu-jitsu and how content should be delivered at those particular phases. So when you look at this website, you'll see that there are three major areas. There's courses, videos, and game plan, which is something that will be coming soon. Now, we'll start with the videos section. Videos is really for single video topics. So there's a few different types of video and you can see you can filter by them as you search. So there might be discussions where I might be talking about a particular technique or it could be post-training discussion about particular areas of the game. So you can see I can filter down and you can see me answering questions on particular areas. We have roles where you can just watch rolling footage against different people at different levels. There are gi and no gi. Obviously at the moment with ADCC prep, there's a bit more no gi uh, footage there, but there is both available on the site. And there's techniques which can be classes, so we film a lot of the classes, put them up online. This is great for um, sort of seeing what I'm currently teaching and, and following a particular theme there, as well as uh, specific, an, an instructional would be something that's specifically made for the video section, but a single clip. And obviously things like seminars will be put up here too. And the last one is breakdowns, where you can see me breaking down some high level matches. So we can then look at the courses page and this is where the bulk of material has been filmed for. And this, you know, I think at the moment I've filmed about 80 courses, each of them, most of them are between one to three hours long. So, you know, we're talking over a hundred hours, easily over a hundred hours of footage um, so far. And when I talk about in a moment, the scope of, of how, what I'm trying to achieve with this website, I'm really aiming to, to encapsulate most of jiu-jitsu and be able to give people particular pathways to uh, progress within that. As you can imagine, that's a, that's a huge undertaking. It's quite ambitious, but it's working out really well so far. And I'll, and I'll go through some of that now. So first off, just when you go to the courses page, you can see continue watching. Then you've got guard, courses around guard, courses around passing, controls, submissions, and escapes. So, and then obviously takedowns as well, which is, this is our, uh, our major themes, but we've got filters that let you look at these particular areas in more detail. The first thing I wanna talk about though is experience level. So we've broken it down into four key experience level uh, in terms of uh, what you'd wanna watch at a particular um, stage of your development. So, and this is how I think you should approach learning Jiu Jitsu actually is the first step, so we've got an introduction course. This is actually, this is a free course, so anyone can just come on and watch. You've got someone who's just started training, get them to do our intro course. It's not just techniques. We go through the main things that we want people to know about how to approach training and you know how you should conduct yourself in certain areas of your training and so on, just so that you get the most out of your training and also uh, don't rub anyone the wrong way <laughs> while you do it, okay, um, and that's, a really good course that's that's four and a half hours so that's like but the basic aim of that is you want to learn like you just want to understand the major positions like one move from each of the major positions how they link together so that you've kind of got a broad very broad but not too much depth understanding of what's happening in jiu-jitsu so when you go in you know anything you learn from there you've at least got some reference point to to continue on then we have beginner right and we have a six part foundations series on this. Now, this is the, each of these are roughly two to three hours long in the foundation series. It starts with escapes, goes through to guard, uh, takedowns, passing, controls and submissions, and then another extra chapter on expanding your game. So just filling in some of the holes from there. And the this foundation series is based off a action reaction so you're now like as you improve going on from your initial introduction course you now want to develop the beginnings of what will become a system where you've got action reactions 
So you go for a move, it gets defended, you can follow up and use another move to, to continue your attack. So in addition to just technique, we also have training methodology. How should you, how do you actually approach your training? How do you get the most at, like you've, you've been working on something, how do you actually train that and make it so you can implement that in rolling? Yeah. And as well as major concepts different uh, around different positions and understanding different controls you might use. Um, so you get a really good understanding and this foundation is really, you are building a foundation so that after that, really, you move on to our intermediate and advanced content. This is obviously, if it's, if it's someone who's come onto the site from, you know, from when they've just started training, they would go first steps course, then they'd go into our foundations, our, our foundations course. And then they should be completely set. You've got a great skill set ready to go into the intermediate courses. So intermediate courses, as we, as we click on that now, are really, this is now you're learning a full, you're learning a full system with the main things you need to know from a position. So I suppose this is where it's a bit different to the instructionals I've made in the, in the past. Like I've made what I would say are advanced instructionals. I'll do an eight to 10 hour instructional on a particular topic, which is really good. It covers everything. I do think an issue with that is if you're somewhat, you know, if, let's say you're just starting on a particular position, you wanted to learn how to attack with the, attack the rear naked choke or attack from the back, for example. You wanted to learn how to attack the back. You don't necessarily want eight to 10 hours of knowledge because a lot of the things that I would say in that are not relevant for you at this stage. You want the main things first. Right, and that's where these intermediate courses are. They're, they're usually like, each course here is really like between one to one to two, maybe three hours. Uh, and that way I can get the main things across and you know exactly what to do from there. And then there's advanced content that can build upon that. So once you understand how to control from the back, there's certain avenues within the back, such as the, the straight jacket system, which might be another one to two hour course that you can add on and that's, once you've got the basics, you can add these advanced courses on and it's, I suppose putting it in these chunks to me makes it more digestible and easier for someone to come out from scratch, not knowing a lot about an area to understanding the main things and then the advanced content. So if we look here, I'm gonna funnel through. I'm in the intermediate section. You can also uh, filter this by subject. So I could look at intermediate guards, for example, and you see sit up guard, half butterfly, single X and X, deep half guard. These are, uh, you know, I'll, I'll scroll down. There's, I've basically covered the majority of guards that, that people will play. There's still a few more that need to be um, filmed, but if you can see there, it's, it's reasonably comprehensive, each of these being, you know, reasonably one to two hour long instructionals. So I'll just click on one of these intermediate courses. Uh, I'll click on Berambola, which is related to, to guards. It's a two hour, two minute course. And you'll see that we've got the, we've got a little intro video that kind of goes over what is covered in this course. So I'll give a brief, a brief explanation about the techniques that are covered, all the different areas that we, we want to work from there. And you can see the course content here too. So introduction, uh, and it's, so this is something that I think is essential for a good instruction. It needs to be well structured and you need to, you need to be able to see and navigate the instructional well. So there's nothing worse to me than like an hour of footage and you don't know where, what you were looking for. You know, if you want to go back and watch something, you don't know where to look for it. So by having these particular, essentially like timestamps here, you can click on, you know, if I want to go through the crab right part, I can click on the back take. That's right. I wanted to remember how to, how to um, take the back. We can go to that and therefore we're watching um, that particular area that we needed to, to fix. So looking at this one, you can see there's introduction, entering the Berambolo, wedge, uh, narrated rollings in there as well. So you've got the main strategy, crab rise. You've got, essentially, you've got like topics around the major positions related to the Berambolo. So with the narrated rolling, obviously, I'm that's me using the techniques live in training, and I'm going through what's happening. So I'm kind of pointing out how my opponent's defending and some different things that I'm doing to, to try to deal with that. So it kind of gives you a good idea of what things look like live. When, when you do something live, it looks different to when you're actually teaching it as a technique. And that's just because things are messier. The, the, the way people defend is, 
makes it more difficult to perform and the angles aren't quite perfect. So it's good to see that and see that things don't always look perfect, but how you can try to navigate that. So that's why the narrated role is important. And we also have exercises. So this is um, something that uh, I haven't really seen anyone else do, <laughs> which is interesting because it's probably the biggest issue with instructionals is that your watch, someone's telling you what to do and it's quite far removed from actually implementing it. And at least one step close to that is you having to actively recall what to do. So this is essentially where when you have to actually think about a scenario and, and actively create that problem in your head, you, you remember it better and it's more likely to actually come back and transfer into some sort of skill that you're actually trying to apply. So going back to the courses page, I'm going to, um, so you can see like across this that there's a lot of content here as I already mentioned, but I'm just going to say it again because I've done so much work on this. Um, let's now go to experience level advanced. Okay, so looking at the advanced tab now and I'm just going to, uh, this is, so I, f I feel like essentially we've, I've ticked off first steps, I've ticked off the foundation series, the intermediate level courses, I've covered a pretty broad range. I've, I've almost say I've, I've completed that part and now there's just like lots of advanced content that I want to populate as well, as well as some extra intermediate level courses. But uh, if we take the Berambolo topic, we just, I was just talking about the Berambolo intermediate level course. So that's about a two hour course and you understand the main positions there. Then you have the sub position. So if I click on, for example, crab ride, here's a two and a half hour course on the crab ride, which obviously follow, follows a, um, you know, I could just click down on the course content. There's entries, concepts, position strategy, um, offense, troubleshooting summary, and the troubleshooting section goes over like all the, you know, this is really in detail. There's pretty much, in my opinion, not much else that you would want to know about crab ride than what you can see in this particular course. And of course, more narrated rolling as well. All right. All right, so moving on, I just want to show you something that I'm doing with my students here. So this, it was obviously designed with my students in mind and something I noticed is, especially at, at our gym, we get a lot of people who haven't come through out my curriculum, like, you know, we have a curriculum and the way, the way I approach teaching and so on, but you might get like a, a visitor that's come from another state or whatever, and they've been doing it different ways. And I want to make sure that they're following along in a way or progressing in a way that I like to see. And it can be really hard because I think uh, often people have like a particular style and it's hard to give good direction. You can't watch every single role that they do and, and really pay attention to that. So assigning a theme and a topic for someone to work on, I think is ideal. And that's basically what I wanted to be able to do. And that's what we've got here. So you can see I've got my list of students that they're, they're um, blanked out here just so that you know, for privacy reasons. But if I click on one, uh, I can click down to course. I can actually, actually another really cool thing, I can, I can see what grade everyone is. I forget how many stripes people have and so on. So <laughs> I've actually got the ability to grade them and whenever I, as in when, when they grade, I can update that. Um, if we go down to courses, so you can see here, uh, they've finished two of the courses and there might be a new one that I've just assigned, but each, each time, so I can give them a topic. So for example, here, half butterfly must be the topic I've assigned this particular student. And I, I give them that topic, I get them to work on that. And for me, like it allows me to assess, assess them on that. And then when I'm happy that they've done that, I know that I can see what they're working on. I know what they're working on. I can help them improve there. So um, of course I can give them uh, intermediate level things and then once they complete that I can start giving them more advanced content that I think is relevant to them and that way each person gets an individualized game and that's actually the last thing I want to talk about here is just uh, I, I talked about the progress from uh, first steps to that like our intro course to our foundations course which I think it's probably a good idea that everyone follows a similar uh, similar content because you just want to learn the major positions and the, and some the major common ways that we do jujitsu there, right? And after that, you then actually want a unique game. Not everyone should do the same thing, and that's why I wanted these different pathways. That's why you need a lot of content because there has to be someone who's tall and 
thin and they might want to use like a, a close guard game from guard and a, around the legs passing and then you might have someone who happens to really like deep half guard and so on and, and to make that person do something else and take away from instead of doing that but adding something for them that actually goes with their game, it's going to complement their game, is really how you're going to make a great grappler as opposed to just someone who knows a bunch of different things but doesn't know how to connect them. So that's the ultimate aim with this website and we're going to work on a game plan thing that's, that will deliver that. So, uh, so we are live now, we do have some active subscribers. If you are interested, then check out the link provided and register your interest.